Hello everyone, my name is Bob Mitch and welcome back to some 3.3 .3 PTU goodness. In this video I want to give you a tour of the Constellation Phoenix and all the fun that it carries inside. This is obviously the RSI's luxury version of the Connie. I'm a big fan of the Connie, however I have to say the others felt a bit too much like a sort of tin container. They were very linear and they didn't really have anything fun to them. So the Phoenix is what changes this and it's obviously built for taking VIPs or just friends around or maybe even the heads of your organization to go and see what there is to see out in space in luxury as RSI puts it. So I'm going to show you around and I will give you my thoughts on this thing because I've actually bought one and I'm like I said I'm a big fan of it. So with the uh, Valkyrie over there photobombing in the background because I think there is someone who just loaded an Ursa rover into it. Now oh, he's taking off. Let's give him a minute, shall we? So, the Connie Phoenix, then. It differs a little bit from the other constellations in the series because it's packing four size 4 Omnis guys, which I can see people wanting to tear off a lot and use on other ships at least people in my organization anyway and on the sides here you can see these boom arms that come out and carry the missiles that this thing has so much like the 600i this is a very powerful missile boat it's certainly nothing to laugh at when it comes to combat because we've actually taken down hammerheads with this thing granted the uh, hammerhead that i was in that got destroyed got rammed by a constellation phoenix but still to access it you go in as you would any other normal way in the constellations, which seems a bit strange considering it's supposed to be the luxury version. That there isn't a special door or something, but hey ho. Okay, so in the main front here, this is what people have been complaining about the most: is that RSI haven't really done much to change things up front. It looks very much the same as the Constellation Andromeda if they'd given it a bit more of a white paint scheme. You still get the same cockpit glass with the Phoenix as you do with the Andromeda. You don't get the fancy sort of sweep around a kilo one. If we go into a turret here, So the turrets in the Connie are a little bit buggy at the minute. I can't really do much to sort of turn around and switch them on. However, you can see, if I pan my camera around, that it's packing new distortion scatterguns. So this is a little bit of a, an experimental ship. So these things certainly hurt as well in combat. Um, what was I flying the day they had them in? I can't remember. Oh, it was the, the 85X. The 85X actually is carrying some of these new distortion guns as well. So. They've changed the loadouts on quite a few ships. The one in the bottom here has the same. If we go backwards, the crew quarters are the same as in the other Constellation variants. There's only one toilet. One toilet for the entirety of the crew, whether you're you know, one of the poor plebeians who is stuck sleeping in these bunk beds here, or whether you get the luxury that's in the back. That is the only toilet, so you can all go and fight over it. Once you come through the door here, however, though, things start to change. You have the luxury RSI logo up here, and the Illuminated Phoenix logo, and taking an immediate right, we have one of the guest bedrooms, complete with fish tank. So, this is where you can kick one of your guests. Maybe you're fortunate enough to stay in here, who knows. And you also have a monitor here. I uh, actually discovered a little while ago that these things are animated. I don't know if it will show the animation, but I thought they were fixed. So it has a cool little sort of animated logo. Oh, there we go. So it just flashes out in and out of RS and the Phoenix logo. There we go, just a cool little detail. Okay. Moving across the hallway, we have the second of the guest bedrooms. Again, another single bed. All the cool uh, pillows and such, and another fish tank, so, and another monitor. So, I don't know if they're going to put anything else in here. They said they were unfinished in the reverse to reverse tour that they did, but who knows? Once we come forward, you have what is the area that's kind of inspired by first class trains and you know, first class areas in planes. 
for your passengers to ride in. So they've got a monitor and they've got some books and some playing cards and they've got a really nice sort of very sort of inspired train view of what's going on outside. So for this I've chosen Gila because I wanted to show you the performance in the 3.3 PU as opposed to just launching this thing in free flight and you know poking around it in there. This is actually the PU, that's why there was a Valkyrie over there, I don't know if it's taken off now. He has. So this is all in game and this is the FPS from the current PU, this is not a free flight. So looking across here we've got the bar. Again, more shiny monitors, more Phoenix logos. This is very, very cool. I love the materials. This bar is a lot more preferable, I think, to the one in the 600i. The one in the 600i felt very isolated. This feels a lot more social and homely. And it, to me, looks like there is a, a massive, massive capacity for certain lethality levels of alcohol. Oh, and transparent bottles, apparently. So... Yeah, I like this bar. I don't. I didn't really much like the one in the 600i. This one feels a lot more completed, and you know, you would use it a lot more. I feel. Over here, you've also got the conference table, and obviously, if you're heading an organisational meeting or if you're just having dinner, then you and your people can come sit down here and have their friendly talks. In the reverse reverse episode, we saw that um, you can place a piano here if you own it. I don't know if it will let me do it in this Moby Glass here but it was in the ship menu. Yes, so flare item here, obviously conference table. So it's unequipped there. I wonder if it'll make it go away. Yes, it does. So I've not actually played with that. I do not own the piano, but the functionality is in where you can actually put the piano down if you own it already. And this is only the PTU, so that's pretty impressive. Moving over here, we have the master fish tank. Uh, no fish in it yet, but we do have the uh, low-level LOD of the original Constellation Phoenix Mark I model that was put in there as a sort of shipwreck for letting air bubbles out for the fish to breathe, which I think is still very, very cool. Here, we've got the hot tub. So this is obviously where you and your buddies can jump in some water with more view. There's a button on the wall here. Doesn't do anything at the moment. I think that's just to open and close it. Over here you've got storage components, so if I remember right these are the shield generators. So, BHS GNT, yeah, bearing shield generator. So these are both your shield generators, so you can switch out components. Over this way you've got this sort of one-way glass here. If we open this door you've got the master bedroom. No fish tank in here, but a nice big double bed with a view and you can look out on whatever else is going on. Moving back down here, towards the rear of the ship, you have, again, kind of the same as the Andromeda and the other ships. You've got the parasitic snub fighter attached to the back. This is a P-72 Archimedes, though, as opposed to a P-52 Merlin. We don't have the Archimedes in King yet, so you just get the Merlin to fly around. Coming back through, we've got more storage components. So I'm not actually sure what these ones are. I'm not very clued up on the components, I'm a bit of a noob for that, I know, but obviously these are more changeable. And the last thing is this cool panel here. So if we press this button, this takes us down into a leaky, apparently, cargo area. So this cargo area is still very functional. It's uh, going to be shielded, apparently, who knew? So that when they get that mechanic in, this cargo hold you will not be able to scan it with another ship so that's very very cool what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and grab a cyclone or something and I'm going to chuck it in here just to show you that there is still the room in here for any kind of vehicle that you might want to bring in so be it a dragonfly or a nox I haven't actually tried them yet so I don't know if they sort of cannonball around the walls um, but even if it's a cyclone or an ursa you can still fit them in here so I'll go and do that now for you guys Okay, so just for fun's sake, I pulled out the RC version of the Tumbril Cyclone. So if you're not clued up on the variants, this is the racing version. It's very much hot rod red, as you can see. And if you get into the PTU when you get wave two or whatever, I highly recommend you drive one of these things around because with object container streaming and the frame rate being a lot more stable, these things are hella fun, as you're about to see. And 
yes, they do drift as well. So, if you're familiar with the Constellation series, when you want to put the ramp back up into these things, normally you know that there's a button here that you press. This is not the case with the uh, Phoenix. You actually have to go to the rear here and press this button. A little bit buggy, but it survived. So this actually accommodates the vehicles. As you can see, there's plenty of clearance, whether you put the AA version in here, so the anti-air, or the one with the turret on top, the TR. They all fit, as does the Ursa Rover. So there was more than enough room to store vehicles in here, even though this thing technically has a smaller cargo bay. So there we go then, guys. That's the Constellation Phoenix for you in a nutshell. As I said, it's still very combat capable with its 4 size 4 Omnis and all its missiles. And it's a very fun ship, I think. Um, as I said, I bought one, so I do like these things. It's a limited haul ship, so these things aren't going to be around forever, although they do keep re-releasing them, much to the chagrin of the original Phoenix owners. But this one's a lot more fun, I feel, than the um, Aquila and the Atrobida because it doesn't feel as much like a sort of a tin tube anymore it's got a little bit more functionality to it so let me know what you think thank you for sticking with me and bring some more ships around i might do the hammerhead next we'll see and i'll see you around in the verse